You gonna show up? Is this for me? Give me a little cheeky paint. There it is. Friends and enemies, distinguished guests, people are in possession of souls. What we're doing now is self-explanatory. We're starting our Dark Pictures Anthology grind. I have all four games of the series. We're starting from the beginning and working through them in chronological order. Um, Fallout 4 is going to be gone for a bit, is all I can say. Saturdays are going to be scary games for a while until we do another collab with Kirby, which I've just been explaining in the BRB screen. Ayo sheesh. We're playing Man of Medan though. We just, we did, we finished the quarry semi recently and that game was absolutely fantastic. And I've only heard good things about the uh, Dark Anthology. Um, the Dark Pictures Anthology. So be prepared if you are of a slightly less scary game, weaker disposition. That's not very good English. If you don't like scary games, I have been assured by people on the internet that these aren't as scary as some scary games that I might have played. These are more very dark thrillery. But viewer discretion is advised. Please do not hang out on my account. If you feel the need to log out, go do something that isn't watching a streamer play a horror game for X amount of time. I will not hold it against you. Okay. I logged in the other day to do some balancing of audio, but other than that, we do the usual little thing at the beginning of our things. If you feel the audio is particularly quiet, please let me know. I think I've got it balanced correctly and we are running. It's a pretty old, it's not a, it's not a recent game. So we're running on pretty reasonable, we're running on pretty reasonable um, mechanics, but if we get any sort of lag or on-screen problems, we'll change these down to high. Um, this game's old enough that it didn't identify what sort of graphics card I had. Which... Good, bad, maybe. But it felt very quiet, so the game's pretty quiet. Oh, he's in here. Robin the cat. Here we... Leave that cat alone. It's breakfast, is it? Yeah. You can look at it. Like a... F in a very small furry barrel. Let's do this. Don't play alone. No, I want to play alone. New story. We're gonna go... We're gonna go middle. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not going lethal. We want these games to be a challenge. Yes. These are my two games that I barely started. I hope those save games aren't there forever. But, um... Up. I'm playing with a controller. Is that a good idea? What did I play? What was I playing the quarry with? I feel like I was playing the quarry with controller. Let the screenshot spamming commence. I need some good opening schemat uh, cinematic screenshots for my thumbnails. How's the volume? Let me know. Bears? Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Sounds alright so far. Okay. Whoa. 
Well. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. I'm about 95% sure this is as loud as the audio will go for voice. Yeah, dialogue. This is as loud as the dialogue will go. So, it's a quiet game. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do you even ma? Will I be rich? Tell me about my son, say nothing. Tell me. Uh, I guess I just wanna know about my son. Will he uh is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Mahjong? What the heck is Mahjong? Bamboo tile? What difference does this make? Bamboo feels like constructive and better. Oh, brain or heart? Tell me what you see. Hold right trigger to pick up an object. Object. It's a it, fish! It looks like a fish? Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? You think you got the stuff? Come on, bud, the fortune teller upset sure. me. Let me know the quarter. It's gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. There's a time limit between these punches. <clears throat> Holy shit, that's quick. That's getting faster. Come on, soldier boy, you got this. Nice. <laughs> yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. No. Hey, Chuck. We better get back to the ship. Why am I wasting my time on this idiot? Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. It's the Ark of the Covenant. What do we think's in the box marked with skulls? Do we think it's like cuddly toys? Holy shit, it's Jason Bourne.
Again, ominous. What do you put in a box in the middle of an empty room marked with skull and crossbones? How's it going? Finish lies of P. No, we just we're we we did we did two hours of it today, and we're just starting Man and Madan now. Still working on it. Really enjoying it still. Something spooky's in those boxes though, right? Waiting not to play Liza P because I don't want spoilers. Fair. We we did we sneak it. We'll play it. We play it Sundays and Mondays, and we're sneaking in the occasional bit of gameplay. But you're more than welcome when I'm in. I mean, waiting for you not to play. I'm getting in through it as quickly as I can. But yeah, Saturdays I like to sneak a bit of gameplay in. Why is he sedated? How you doing though? Had a rough couple of days, but... That was weird, right? Yeah, rough, rough couple of days, but not, you know. I'm here now, and I'm having fun. I was gonna cancel, let's put it this way. I was gonna cancel the stream today and then didn't, and I'm still here after three hours, so... It's working out. Okay. Those fingernail, that high def fingernail. Frank convinced me to try TFT, Team Fortress 2, and now I'm addicted to it. Uh, TC, you still in chat? I know somebody in chat that likes Team Fortress 2. Team Fight Tactics. No idea on that one, I'm afraid. Not Team Fortress 2. Same acronym. Never, don't know about Team Fight Tactics. Is that, um... Is that a League of Legends game? Like a League of Legends franchise game? Yeah, yeah. No, I know that, I know, I know the name. It's not one I've got any experience with. Also, me me assuming it was Team Fortress 2 shows how old I am, because that game has been out for billions of years. Oh what my the god, there's a body. I never played LOL, but TFT is fun. League of Legends. I have heard terrible things about the community for that game. Good news, everybody. We found a rusty key. Him's not looking too good. I play Smite, which I think is more fun MOBA. I played Smite when it was original, and absolutely zero offense meant to current Smite players, but... Um, I can't remember the name of the development company. The development company behind Smite Right had two games out. They had Tribes Ascend and then they released Smite. And they 
decided that they were going to focus on Smite and then just leave Tribes Ascend in the dust. And that was such a good shooter. I'm still a little upset with Smite that they did that. I'm sure they're making a billion quid a month and me me having that complaint means nothing to them, but Smite, Smite, sorry, Tribes Ascend was so good. They have a lot of games now, but I think Smite is their main, yeah. They cancel, they, they effectively soft cancel Tribes Ascend because of Smite. I, I think they divided their company, okay. Nah, I know Tribes closed, all of the servers closed and stuff. Oh, great, guys. You know what Chimkin likes and has talked about liking it before? Enclosed spaces. I didn't consider how small an area the inside of a military boat would be. Uh. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on up there? I heard aircraft. And gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. The so high-res is the big company, but inside high-res there's Titan Forge, which work on Smite, and then there's other divisions which work on Paladins, Rem Royal, and Divine Knockout. Yeah, but they still cancelled Tribes, and I'm still upset about it. <laughs> I should try Tribes again. In that prior, in that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in manner of not becoming of a member of the US Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to the ship. This is like subpoena, maybe? I'm not sure if that's the correct technical term. Can I access a safe? Why would, why, he was locked in a brig. Why is there a safe? Iris is a very trendy. Yeah, no, I get, I, I get that. Five minutes till an ad chat. Um, Arthur Miller, petty theft, one day brig, small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker, item recovered and returned to owner. David Davis, trespass, two days brig, found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there, flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, PFC Louis brand public intoxication. One day, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately. Robert Reed, public intoxication. Yeah, same, same issue. Charles Anderson, public intoxication. Brawling ten days, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately. Joseph Roberts, public intoxication. Um, personnel while on shore leave assigned to sick bay for medical treatment. Prior to internment, I was on my way. MOBA became popular, makes might, then a marina shooters being popular, paladins, then battle royales, realm royale, and now by knockout is like Super Smash Bros. E. Yeah, that sounds. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, there's jam on the wall. Why, why would, what, that would just get sticky. Leave that there long enough and the paper, the paint will peel off. Up and peel off. I can't speak. I fucked up that minigame. That was the colonel. Why was he running from? Something slightly... Home cinema, headphones, TV, soundbar. TV, maybe? It sounds a little bit... Echoey? I am in a corridor of a metal ship. Uh, what was that? That sounds a bit bad. 
I did not just jump at that creepy child. He didn't see nothing. Door's locked. How quickly can I get these two men killed, do we think? Who wants to put bets? Place bets. Hey, Charlie, help! Eight minutes. Whoa! Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and then son. I think he's dead, chat. I think he's real dead. One and a half minutes till an end. And that'll probably be the last time we mention it. God damn. Another stiff? Tell an ad. Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. God Poor damn it, fucker. God damn it, Buckley. I hate Twitch ads. They help me out. Is all I can say. Uh, Twitch ads. Do you want an explanation or are you just curious? Uh, like, are you are you venting? Like, I can tell you why I do them. Or why a streamer does them. The ironic thing being is I'm about to go into an ad. I get German ads, but I've never been in Germany or used a VPN. That's weird. And I live in a non-German speaking country. That's super weird. You should look into that. That might be like a back-end setting of your um, Google Chrome or whatever browser you use. That's very strange. I've never heard of that before. I will explain why I use ads after the ads are over. It'll be a minute and a half and then they'll be done. And then I'll, I'll speak my piece because I've not spoken my piece in a while. LB to walk faster. That's concerning. anyone else really super confused by how I am this boat just seems to be hold three we're heading towards hold three is this going to be a title sequence am I going to get to the hold and it's going to be like Na -na -na -na. I don't like the way this is going you don't understand your ads that's fair Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? <laughs> it's the third time I've audibly jumped, audibly jumped when uh, that kid runs across the screen. It's a good start. It's a real good start. Charlie, get over here! Oh my god, there's a body, Charlie! Climb the Candy Mountain, Charlie. Wait, he's got a tiny knife. Nothing can go wrong, I'm sure. <laughs> Creepy fucking kids. Oh, Charlie's dead already. Oh, God, no. Charlie! So, who's been walking with you this entire time? <laughs> Welcome back from the ad chat. We're getting haunted by a creepy child.
Yes, I should have paused it whilst that was happening. I apologize. The action is skippable in this game. It only just occurred. Um, just for clarification, and I don't think you necessarily need necessarily need me to say this, Illarox, but I will explain. Um, I run Twitch ads on my channel because for every minute and a half of ads that I run on the hour, um, that gives me 30 minutes of when people join the stream for the first time, they don't see pre-rolls. If I ran three minutes, um, that would equal no pre-rolls ever. All I do is a minute and a half. That's it. So people, th for 30 minutes every hour, there are no pre-rolls. That benefits the people coming in, but it also be benefits me marginally because no pre-rolls actually equals better engagement. Or from experience it does. I could do the full three minutes, but I, I will fully agree that three minutes um, is a long time to be watching ads. Creepy fucking kid with a knife. What the hell? <laughs> He's having a heart attack. You've been hit by, you've been struck by. Ships on to Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Damn, it's been six oh, minutes I lost. Come on! <laughs> come on, damn it! This is the this this is a hundred percent the trailer. That not the trailer, the intro. I don't think that? we've seen the credits yet. What the fuck is that? That thing had four arms. <laughs> Like some sort of bug creature. There, there, there were those boxes at the beginning.
That was one of the better opening segments for a game we've seen on this channel. Hello. And welcome to my repository. Um, is there a streamer mode in this game? Because I would put money on the fact that this is copyrighted music in the background. This is from memory, so I'm not sure this exactly, but something like that. I will do a little bit of lore di diving after this, if that's the case. I wasn't sure on the origin of any of these stories, but if this is based in, like, actual, like, cryptid -y sort of, you know what I mean? That would be inter that would be an interesting read. I do like a I do like that sort of thing. Um, I'm gonna just say if this, um, if there is any muting and you're watching the YouTube video back, let me put apologize in advance. There is no streamer mode, and I can't change that. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Ominous. I'm so... I have an intri- I'm so intrigued. One of my favourite things of the Dark Pictures anthology is that the curator is in all of them and his dialogue changes a bit based on other games you've played. That's cool. I did get the the connected the connected franchise vibe because of all the games being animated in the me in the original menu. Which begs the question, have they improved the graphic graphics at all towards the newer ones? Because Brad, witty, Brad, Alex's brother, innocent. I know the most recent one is the murder, the murder hotel, the Duke of Milan. That's a very wide ass boat. Brad's boyfriend, brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure. I'm not going to remember any of these games. I'm sorry. We uh, names. Out? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look, I've never been down there before. Down? The water, diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, it's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. 
I don't think he liked that. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are. Alex but you're is not. a dick. So be cool. Capiche? He is a, just right, a amigo. horrible human Calvary's being. almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. Sorry I'm a, real, sorry I'm a little snappy, thing, but Julia? I'm just a it's twat. Must be tough. It's been two weeks. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. These decisions huh? are coming thick and fast. Yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. That is a wide-ass boat. Hey! So, uh... Can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? It's just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but... It's just... Kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Are you going to ask her to marry you? Does that mean you're, the game's going to try and make me not want to get this person killed? Go with killed? your gut. If it's right, you'll know. <laughs> There's going to be a marriage hey. and a murder! Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless. I have a fun fact about that man. Pointing finger at screen. That guy, what is the actor that plays that? Who is the actor that plays that man? Let me just get Google Chrome up because this blew my mind and you might already, you might be Sean Astin. Sean Astin has a twin, right? That's not Sean Astin. That's not even slightly Sean Astin. Ashmore, one of the Ashmore twins, not sure which one, not him. I did not know they were twins. And for years I was like, holy shit, this guy's in a lot of stuff. Two separate people. Both actors. You see that I was seeing them absolutely everywhere. They were in Smallville. Or one of them was in Smallville. And my brain was like, holy shit, he's prolific. He's absolutely everywhere. I discovered semi-recently that it's two people. <laughs> I don't know why I'd never gone... Oh, wait. But yeah, two people. Blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. Sean Astin is, um, Sean Astin is, uh, Samwise from Lord of the Rings, right? Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> what was that weird little shoulder dip? Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah. yeah cool. Tight. <laughs> Tight. I, I love beer. Hey, you had much better. Do we think he loves beer? That doesn't sound like he loves beer. <laughs> right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's Jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Mm, never. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're going to pop your cherry. Together. I'm gonna be gentle. Uh... The Chad levels that are happening in this game so far are off the frickin'. Oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Captain of the Ducal of Moran, Courageous, Fliss. Maybe 12? No. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but. Uh... 
So is everybody on board and ready to go? It is short. Not 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 twelve. Uh you're selling, I'm buying. Oh. Quantum Break is a game I've always planned to play. I've got it on my Steam list. It's um not got round to it. Similar, same developer as Alan Wake Control and all of those. So I went through and bought their entire games database at one point. Oh, Alex. That's it. Get it all out. Definitely yeah. not a stream game because half of it's a TV show. You uh, want okay. to write down? Yeah. Maybe I should try it privately. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah, this one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. I don't like any of these you people. I mean, Fliss is the only one I like, and... Feast your eyes on this. Yeah. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final check. How was that anchor? Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Are we just gonna leave the brother in the boat? Like, are we just going? I see no ships. Hmm. During the game, it starts playing the TV show episodes at the right spots. Okay. Maybe I will check that out off stream. <gasps> oh my god, it's a fishing boy! Not a fishing boy, a floater. Floater? Is that the right term? Yeah, definitely some sky out there. What do your elf you see? It's a bunch of water and salt. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Meant to be one of those planes you can drive with your feet. There was that World War II plane, I want to say, that you could drive, you had to fly with your arms and your legs. How long do I do this for? I feel like that's just repeating itself. We were already talking to Wifey, it's spoken hey, hey. to Wifey. Hey, sweetie. Go see what the brother's doing. What am I looking at here? Some sort of premonition of Alex being in a cupboard. Premonition was called High and Dry. 
So that feeds into my idea that he's going to get left on the boat because he's ill. So is he in here? What's up? Yes. How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. He's so just going to wake up on this boat by himself. Doors locked. Oh my god, it's a sure book. Julia left anything on the mainland. Do oh the perfume. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. I must read with for anyone with an interest in the Salem witch trials of sixteen ninety two. Wow. Yes, Hartley. Okay, now all you're doing is rummaging through your girlfriend's bag. Not sure how I feel about that. This is 100% an Easter egg. Is there a few, is one of the future games about the Salem Witch Trials? Is that what you're going to tell me? Bliss, how's it going? Your boat is very wide. Which trails? Yes, not so. Okay. Careful of no spoilers in that case, because I've not played any of the you others. You know how to use that? We're uh, going to do them chronologically. No, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Casually poke it. Poke, yeah, you don't want to... Felis, how do you pronounce that? Felicite, Fel like Felicity, Felicity Dubois, Fliss. The instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designated specialty. Ad speciality this doesn't look kosher. Doesn't look kosher. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Is that implying that she's not an actual instructor or, like, person? Hey. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say, but I don't know the truth. <laughs> Were you snooping around? You don't trust me? The fake certificate is only temporary. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? This dive is supposed to bankroll the fees. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? So I guess that applies to all of us. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Interesting. Is this going to be there's that there's that horror film called The Triangle where is that something's going to happen to this boat and for some reason we're going to end up washing up on that military boat that was sailing okay. around. So, this is the rebreather way cooler than a regular scuba setup. 
It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. It's people who swim in these waters with bare skin. Are you from the UK? I am from the UK. Uh, I don't know what the one on... I don't know what the one on the left You're is. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I don't know what this is. What is that? I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. This is a bang stick. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Your accent doesn't sound like the typical UK accent I hear in media. Um... Can I ask where you're from? No specifics. Are you are you American? Israel. Okay. Whoa. You good? More or less. I think you might be my one and only person for watching from Israel. Shark! That's never a good idea. She was so um, tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. We'll have a learning moment. Fact of the matter is, there are many different accents in England. We just entered War State today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, but yeah, there are lots of. Uh, there's. Uh, there, there are a lot of accents in the UK. Many, all English, but many, many different accents. And I have like a southern English accent. I can't say much more without like telling you exactly where I live, which is a line for me. But yeah, southern English, which is a fairly wide area, so it doesn't narrow it down too much. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> It's not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Friends and enemies, it's time to spin that wheel. What we get, what we get, what we get, what we get. Crown. Very, like, very, very regal. Israel is kind of like the USA's little brother across the pond. Okay. I didn't, okay. I'll take your word for it. Ah, the King of Medan. And the Duke of Medan. No. Dukes wouldn't wear a crown, would they? Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third I just want in to command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. I just want to punch him in the face. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. 
Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Yeah, I want to punch him. Wait for this to return. Jack on Brad. Weather looks clear. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Isn't that spiraling cloud? Does anybody in chat know about cloud patterns? Because that one on the bottom left doesn't look good. Is that not wind moving in a circular motion is generally bad, right? Uh-oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. Go check on Brad. Bradley, get out of bed! How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. Too many boats You're on the radar. You're overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. I think, it, uh, am I dumb? The radar looked empty. I think the implication was that they're diving at a site that they shouldn't be diving at. So any boats in the on the ra in radar range is a bad thing. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Does this change? No, only shows you at the once. Climb upstairs, please. Hello again, little blip. What's she doing all the way out here? I wonder if that's the ghost ship. Ooh, it's a ghost ship. Let's get the binoculars. Have a look at the ghost ship. I see nothing. Assy London, Assy France. What's the point of asking me if I want to place a shortcut on the desktop during installation if you're going to do it after I say no anyway? Yeah, that's weird. What are you doing, Connie? Being a dick? Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia? Same photos. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Same photos. Good job, Apple. Ah, see, mistake is that it's a Mac. Hey there, how's it hanging? Uh... You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you beached? So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? iTunes on Windows, yeah, okay. iTunes on Windows is terrible. I have to keep track of the dive, but nice one. <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. I hate him so much. That doesn't seem to be changing. Look at my own credentials, that's weird.
Edition. I see the typos now. I didn't see the typos the first time. That's quest. Hmm. That's interesting that she did that. Right? Like that. That has implications. Holy shit, it's pirates. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? You gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! What is happening? Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh. oh whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. What All right, you dick. guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. What is wrong with you? What is, why? Latest RS so I can install on it is, but to install Gmail, YouTube, or Twitch, I need version 1.4 minimum. Uh, latest iOS. That's an old iPad then, I guess. You can't, um, from personal experience, uh, updating old Apple hardware in terms of iPads, they stop supporting older models, so your iPad will only support as far as it is physically capable of managing. So if Gmail, YouTube, or Twitch require 1.14, you need a newer iPad to be able to run those versions of the newer apps. I'm not sure if you can... Well, I'm going to take a wild guess and say, oh, yeah, it's not good. And I, the first iPad Air is not going to be able to run um, modern equivalents of certain apps. That's it's too old. You run into the exact same problem with um, iPhones and various things. Sooner or later, they just aren't supported anymore. For security reasons. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. But there isn't an old version of the apps I can install? I don't think so. Because I don't I don't think Apple works like that. If it was a PC, right? You would be able to backdate the installation and install an older version. But because apps on the iPad store, there's all sorts of security features that they have to update in relation to the app and the hardware that you're using using an old version of the app would be completely irrelevant because it will it might have security flaws that they've fixed in older versions in newer versions that's really useless i wouldn't say useless but it's not necessarily good for what you're using it for i don't know why i'm speaking like this i don't know what yeah check me out with my technical advice while li whilst live conrad really really the rear turret Oh, good on you, Connie. I mean, what can I do on it? Uh, browse the internet. You could probably, I can't install anything. You should, but you'll probably be able to watch YouTube and Twitch through the browser. Maybe. I honestly don't know the answer to that one. You might be able to run the websites versions. Can't even install Chrome. Just use Safari or whatever the iPad equivalent is. The turret. We can get in through there. I don't... That's a sharp-looking piece of metal. This isn't gonna end well. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? 
This is why I don't understand people that go um, yeah, just take a scuba diving say, in these situations with bare shit, skin Alex, showing. We did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. Ammunition unlocked. Yeah, why? Would, this is just tetanus waiting to happen, right? Yeah, but all my bookmarks and accounts and stuff are saved on Chrome Fight. Yeah, there's. Yeah, I can't. Maybe it is useless. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. What is that thing meant to be? I don't understand what the boomstick is. Oh my god, it's a skeleton! And he's waving! He's got a gun! Whoa, whoa. I think I wet my wetsuit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. It got me. Congratulations, game. You Plane made me jump. Not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How to cause a cave in by accident. Uh, oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! Good god! A skeleton. Oh, of his wife and child, maybe? Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Actually, you actually, why do you have a list of ways to perish? That raises all sorts of questions about you, Illarux. I guess I can transfer music, yeah, something like that. But it only has 10 gigs, like one movie at a time, maybe. That's a big bullet! That's a big boy. Secret found. All down the fuselage. Anti-aircraft shell. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Am I meant to be leaving? Please tell me you're not going in there. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? This might be a mistake. Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? This might be a mistake. Live a little, Edgelord. This might be a mistake. I feel like this is a mistake. Put your fucking mask back on your penis. Oh, why is it? Why? I As a man who is claustrophobic, why am I doing this again?
That sucked. You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. Searching in progress, searched area one, clear, searched area two, clear, searched area three, clear. Were they looking? Was a rescue plan. Were they looking Watch for the, the ship? US base. Maybe they were looking for the ship. They were on their way to help out a ship. Looking for the ship. We gotta get out of here now! That is a hell of a pause. Uh, by the way, the anthology does reuse actors between the games, but they aren't actually related, so don't overthink it when you play the others. I think the game the uh, game firm just made a deal with them. Fair, okay. Thank you for the insight. <gasps> shark? Now there's a shark? Yeah, come at me, shark! You've used the boomstick. It's a great reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no times. Are we the doing right a time. wedding proposal uh, right now? I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? I. I... Oh crap. Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I I just. I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. He would have to be. He has a ring and he's underwater. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? You want to go back up to the boat and Flip, bang? This is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. The uh, is the boat occupied by hey, pirates right now? Have we just been robbed? Is the boat Wait. now sinking? Julia, we gotta decompress here. Oh, what the fuck? shit. Get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I don't want to get yeah. the bends. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. The bends is not good. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. It's not okay, selfish. Go, go. Why is... Why is avoiding the bends selfish? Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh... Can you actually die from it? Yes, you can. I, it, depressure it. Yeah, you do not want to get... You do not want to... If it's a... Yes. It's oxygen in the blood. Let's fucking get it. Let's let's fucking. Uh, why is the bends bad? Night. Sorry, not 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 oxygen. Nitrogen bubbles form in the blood, often often causing severe joint pain. Um, is the bends fatal? The bends, more properly known as decompression sicknesses, are something you need to be very aware of when scuba diving. If you dive deep, if you dive for long enough, or you come back up too fast, well, that's when decompression sickness can be in serious danger. In fact, extreme cases, it can kill you. Nitrogen in the blood, not a good thing. Any gases in a... in... Mm, not for me. This hap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? 
A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. I mean, that is a story, right? When I proposed to my fiance, I did a, I did a, what's the word? Uh, oh God, what's the word? Like a treasure hunt. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. I find it interesting that a lot of people don't separate actors from their characters. I think... Depending on the character, I think that is more prominent depending on how prolific the character is. Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter. Daniel Radcliffe basically made enough money that he could go away, do no acting for a while, and come out and start doing some really weird shit and good on him. Because he was not, like, character... There's a technical term for it. Character bias. Like... Performing it as a performing as a character and always being Han Solo. What's his name? He'll 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 forever be Han Solo. Um. Oh God, what is his name? Why am I having a blank? I'm having a blank on names. But yeah, people get pigeonholed into characters that they've played previously and then struggle with future career roles. And I can understand. I can understand why Harrison Ford. Thank you. I wanted to say Foreman. I don't know why. Um, I can understand why it happens, because people sort of grow emotionally attached to certain characters and sort of get that, that face stuck in their brain. It's why recasting sometimes goes a bit weird. Uh, modern day example, right? Um, what's his name? Uh, the one half of the director team of Rick and Morty. Uh, what's he called? He had all of that drama. Justin Roiland from Rick and Morty, right? Justin Roiland from Rick and Morty did voices on the show as well as was one half of the writing team, um, has had all sorts of like criminal problems and is no longer voicing Rick and Morty, but people will struggle with that disconnection. And that's a cartoon. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. apparently is a lot like Iron Man. Really? I... I always I, I always got the impression from interviews that Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. was extremely down to earth after going to prison. Like I imagine he is a very nice man and Tony Stark had problems. He has the joking ego and the money. Yeah, I see that. I get I get that. But yeah, I always got the impression Robert. I always got the impression Robert Downey Jr. was like reformed because he went to prison. Like he doesn't actually have an ego, but he does like a joke. It uh, does it as a joke. Yeah, I could see that, but that's just playing. I don't think that they're like. I think at one point they were considering Tom Cruise for that role. I think they did very well with Robert Downey Jr. and good on him as well because it put him back on the map after prison. I think. Was that the f his first role out of prison? I don't know. I think that that, I think it put him on the map and that's good because everybody deserves a second chance. Both seem well, out of their depth. On a, on a spectrum, certain people and require Julia, a second chance. The love of Alex's life and he the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. I've not seen Kiss and Kiss then Bang Captain Bang. Captain Fliss, strong, <coughs> forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Does anybody else not trust that even slightly?
So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it. Uh, anyways, I thought of that because, like, sometimes people like some actors are assholes because their character is an asshole, when in reality they are very nice guys because Conrad is a bit of a dick here. Yeah, no, I could, yeah, I I don't, I don't, I, me personally, I, I'm not one of those people. I think it, it, it relates to parasocial relationships, which people like it's a similar sort of area as parallel. So do you know what a parasocial relationship is? It's the relationship between there's an ad in one minute. So can I summarize this really quickly? A parasocial relationship is the relationship that's built up between like a Twitch streamer and the audience and the audience, assuming that they know that person, that Twitch streamer as a person, like they know what they want. They know what they're like you know that that sort of thing and the it's why it's what it sucks really because um not malfoy oh god the blonde kid from game of thrones who became king i'm struggling with names to this evening joffrey the man that played Joffrey was so like negatively put upon for playing that character. He quit acting entirely and he has, he has a much better life now. I don't know the actor's name, but the character is Joffrey. Yeah, he um he he got he got like properly fucked over, so he just let he he just left with all of his money for playing that role and now I think he's a lawyer or something. US and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. Well, like Laura Bailey got death threats for her role in Last of Us 2. Yeah, people are f people on the internet. People are weird. And I say this as a person that is speaking to people on the internet. Um... Cersei actually has said uh, she's proud of how much people hate her character because it shows how well she owned the role. It's very true, but like people take it to an obscene level when it comes to popular shows like that. Like, why in what in what world is it relevant to be sending an actor a death threat for a character's like actions that they have no control over? People are weird. People, not even once. How is everybody? We'll take a minute and a half because we're middle we're middle of a story bit. I hope everybody is doing well. Sky, what are you up to? Are you in a Discord call with my wife right now? Are you playing the Baldur's Gate? I tell you what, tell you what, I got I am I had been entirely unhooked. Even if you do somehow are crazy though, send even if you do somehow, people are enough to create send a death threat. At least send it to the scriptwriter, not the actor. No, 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 no. I'm not sure if you can hear this because we're not. No, 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 no. Not sure if you can hear this pause in ad, but just don't send death threats. Period. We do not. We do not like I get your logic. I get the logic of how you landed on that in that position. Um, but don't do that. But yeah, welcome back, chat from the ad. I paused the action just for you, um, Illarox. Uh, you don't have to apologize for the joke. I get, I get that it was a joke, but we just don't. Death threats to people on the internet. 
I I have an inappropriate humor too, but I have to like I have to throttle certain things when it comes to certain things. Um, I have dark humor, I have dry humor, I have classic English humor, but we yeah, death threats on the internet basically are bad. We don't we don't joke about sending them to anybody because if you are sending death threats on the internet, you're a cunt. Good times. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. The only time I sent a letter to a famous person was when I loved their book so much I wanted to thank them or write it for writing it. I wrote to the director, Russell T. Davies, who worked on Doctor Who and whose uh, various other shows were part of my studies whilst at uni. Um, when I graduated, I wrote to them and was like, I've just graduated. Give me a job, please. Never heard back from them, which is fair. As it was like one of those you do, you you know, Gotta shoot your shot, really, don't you? But um, yeah, it was uh, it was the only celebrity I think I've ever written to. Really? Now you're speaking my language. Been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. I was surprised, you know? I kind of wasn't sure how to respond. Julia, is there something we need to talk about? Oh my gosh, Alex. I was just shook up from the plane falling apart around us. That's all. No biggie. Okay, cool. Cool. I'll go find Brad and everybody. He replied to me in a very general, I appreciate your love and support kind of way. Well, that's nice. It's nice that, it's nice that you got a response. I feel like it takes, it, it takes very little, like, it takes very little to do that. Especially because I'm sure you weren't the only one. So even if he, like, signs it and, like, the general concept is, yeah, it's, it's nice to get something like that back. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Are they downstairs having the sex? So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. So far, game. Jump scares, but overall. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at not the that navigator that we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. These games start strong in the prologue, then have a bit of a slow chapter before picking up a game. Okay. I wanted it to be memorable. I was gonna say, are you gonna look at the camera or are you just gonna poke it? I have to hand it to you. Ah. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Ah. Ah. Ah, uh, that is a cool photo. It's a shame that it's in a video game's camera. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. One, I'm not that Okay, put the camera down. I was talking about med school. Still. Rory had two slow tabs. Yeah, you're correct. Though they got, they went. Yeah, it was probably two, right? So, we're going again tomorrow. For anybody curious about the quarry, the entirety of my playthrough is now on YouTube. Uh, yeah, it seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. 
I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find some of you. Oh my god, it's a bullet. It's a haunted bullet. The bullet haunted. So awesome. Oh yeah, potentially partially live animation. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the patio. Do you ever watch playthroughs oh, on no, Twitch, YouTube? Uh, I do. Depends on the person. Um, to be honest, we are. I'm watching more Twitch than any time before now. Um, we used to watch YouTube religiously, but where the summer's been so hot, we spend a lot more time sort of in our air conditioned rooms in our house. So we've been watching. Uh, we've been watching a lot more Twitch recently. But we'll go back to YouTube. There is a competitive eater that I we always particularly like to watch called Beard Meets Food. You get the rest. It's it's not it's not me, but they're great. I find it very difficult to experience. I like to watch single Twitch streamers, but on YouTube I really only watch duos or groups. It it honestly depends on the person. I think I think if it's not your thing, I can understand why, but I think it depend for me it definitely depends on the uh the person that you're watching. I got distracted. And how much time you've got, because I also watch it absolutely metric. Or I used to, at the very least, watch an absolutely metric shit ton of Netflix. Um, I have a lot less time these days. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. That was a weird little interaction that just happened. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow, you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they'd turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic the hell is even happening Wait, right now? True story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pound. Oh, it was uh, Fliss's response to Julia. The rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. <laughs> the woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. 
my parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting yes. the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an ax. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door. And, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super I really nice. wish that game, this game would stop doing those little jump scares. Holy nice shit. One, Squire. shit. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Yeah, we should uh, all go to sleep. No, 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 because no, according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Usually the scary part is the loud random noise, not the actual thing. Why would you go to sleep with weather that, like, nobody... Like, this isn't how boating works. Nobody would go to sleep in the proximity of weather like that. People sail, like, 24 hours over a schedule to avoid exactly this. Oh my god, they're wearing... Are there druids on the boat now? I don't know if this is true on the game or not, but maybe they are too far away from shore. It doesn't make a difference if you're too far away from shore. If you were near the proximity of a storm like that, the first thing you wouldn't do is go to sleep. You would turn the engine on and you would drive away from it. I now need to go back to this. Um, like, especially a motor yacht that isn't as, uh, it's not as, um, affected by the weather in terms of you don't have to have a sail up you just put the engine on and go in a straight line <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> now the pirates are back harry queen lucy you are just in Harry time. Harry Queen Lucy raided my stream with seven viewers. You are just in time. I am getting invaded on my ship by ghosts and druids. Looney Lovey is now following. The evil stuff's happening. Uh, yeah, but I feel like it would be enough for one person to do it and do shit. Quite often, uh, like, sorry, I'm just going back up through chat and then I'll get to raid. Hello, raiders. One second. Um, yeah, but I feel like it would be enough for one person to do it and you can do shifts. Um, yeah, to a certain degree, I imagine. Some small vessels are better at staying afloat stationary than moving during storms, from what I've heard. Hello, Raiders. Hello, Raiders. My name is Chimkin, otherwise known as Chim. Uh, uh, Lucy, I hope you had a really good stream. Lucy has been part of my community for a little bit and is an absolutely lovely person. So please, if you didn't follow them, find them, follow them. 
do the thing um white day a labyrinth named school i have never heard of that but ad infinitum after you played it yesterday is now my games to play how's it going everybody i play scary games on a sunday and monday i do minecraft on tuesdays and i do whatever the hell i like on saturdays currently more scary games because is the season I think the storm is in the distance. I don't think they're actually in the storm, but it should be cut. Yeah, but you just avoid stormy weather, right? You don't like what st weather over water goes quickly and quite often in a straight line because there's nothing to stop it. So if you can see a storm on the horizon, you don't go, oh, that's a nice storm. Jim was doing Phasmo Demonologist and wait. Uh, fair enough. How is Demonologist? That's like the, that's like the new. That's like the Phasmo adjacent game, right? It's like the alter the happy alternative. I've seen a few people play it. I haven't had time to look myself yet. We're just about to get invaded by druids. Let's get back to the action while people chat. Oh my god, he's got a knife. Second playthrough caused ten endings and trying to get new. It's been over a year. Okay. I'll have to check out the VOD. It's not one I'm familiar with. Oh my god, they're not druids, they're just angry pirates. I thought they were like cult robes. What are they here for? To rob us? <gasps> That's the man, he was a douche. You can tell he's a bad guy because he's got one bad eye. We're not going into the horror cliches right now, but... <laughs> that would not be pleasant. Oh, I've never been gagged. I can't imagine gagging in any situation is a good idea. Maybe some situations. Let's ungag everybody. Let's be kind. This is your fault, Conrad, and I noticed that Salem t-shirt. Probably worse because of stubble, not full beard, and not clean shaven. So, yeah. You okay? I think so. You're new. Why are you bleeding? Oh, I smacked hey, you with a bottle. Hey! Damn it! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Is this almost free? I'm going to look, get some food cooked first, but first. Hydrate, thank you. <laughs> See, you can't put me on a 10 minute break. My new favorite thing, chat, is to go into Power Queen Lucy's streams and tell her to take a 10 minute break. Not like awkwardly, I like to leave time between. He's evil. I am a little bit evil. Oh my god, he's so evil. Oh, he practices proper self-care. Oh, he's got a button for self-care, and it's even got a song in the background. He's terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad! Great, just great. And die meanwhile. I'll try. Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey, Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. They were gonna kill us. They would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. 
They're gonna end up in the water. It's not good. Come on. That sweet dodge, though. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go oh. fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Why would you... I thought it was a cigarette. Slow down. Easy. Please. Just stop, man. What do they want? Finish with him later. Attack Jimkin. Uh, relevant. Be on your best behavior, little man. Okay. Okay. Very relevant right now. Where? How did he not? Where did you get those scissors? Julia, put those scissors back up your butt. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Be in bed on time for once. Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. There's not much, there are not many places to hide on a boat this big. Planning to check some Don't new stuff in Cyberpunk hands. tomorrow. Once we get Julia back, it's meant to be very good. I hear. Taken by surprise. Okay. They're coming. Oh. Fuck, motherfuckers. Julia. Well? Tell me what happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. We're gonna get what? ransomed. What is it? They took my ring. Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, they beat the shit out of the the twat one. They beat the shit out of Conrad. And then general just threatening activity. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. I heard that that wasn't true, right? I heard that the whole the whole thing counting between the lightning and the thunder isn't just straight up isn't how that works. Can anybody fact check me on that? Like old Wildstar, I googled this. It isn't true. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. Put some pants on. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, Conrad. Fuck that. Conrad, just get to the boat. Yeah, fuck that. <sighs> Go fuck yourself. Tommy, now! <gasps> Throw him in with the rest of the jump. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Holds it up. Sit down. Over there. You. Right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Uh-oh. Found the treasure. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? escaped when you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. Hey, come on, we're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. I shut my mouth. Wait. Sit still, all of you. The boat is rocking. You, come with me. It's such a cliche. <laughs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? 
Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of buffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. I was compliant. Oh my god. Everything's better when we help each other. That's gonna get me killed. Don't you? I don't think I missed a single one in the quarry. That's two already. The bilge pumps. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. How's it going? Thank you for the sub. Hello, hello. How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. We are just getting up to the spookiest shit bit of Man of Madame. Wait, 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 wait. There's a pun here. Spooky as ship. Get it? Am I the one who remembers that the game had better graphics than they actually had? This is running on Ultra. So I can't get much better than that. That's a oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like there are other horror films that start like this. Everyone's still alive. Yay. Things could have been quite different. Yes, I get that. Thank you. I love this game. No spoilers. I've never played. Somehow I've managed to avoid spoilers for this entire franchise. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Uh, forewarned is forearmed. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything 
may not be entirely as it seems. That's not a book, that's a drink. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. We're a few chapters in and nobody's died. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! Where did their coats go? Ferme la porte or I'll ferme it for you. Junior. Retire la tête à l'image. Take the distributor again. Is this the second one of these games where they've removed something from the engine which leaves them trapped there? The quarry, would they remove something from the engine which left them trapped there? Now they're doing the same here. Technically, this is the first. Either way, it's odd that it's happened twice. Welcome back, Lucy. What food you got? Classic trope. Yeah, apparently, anyway. Also, did I get a follow and just not not engage with that at all? Looney Lovey, I'm really sorry. I didn't register that even slightly because stuff was happening. If you're still here, thank you very much for the follow. That's not, that's not good customer service. She my bestie, please apologize to her that I did not engage with that even slightly. Jesus. That's bad customer service. I'll send you a coupon. One free uh, hug. No, no, no hug's weird, no. One free bit. Go on, keep moving. Oh yeah, this is better than the place that we were yeah, before. Nonsense. Nothing yet, think of cooking one. bacon. Bacon is good. Again, bare feet, rusty floors. That's how you get tetanus. What are you doing? This whole place is a floating death trap. Yeah, but at least you have shoes on. Pretty rare that I eat bacon. Is that a... To not ask an inappropriate question, is that a religious thing, considering where you're from? I don't know. I don't know about that sort of thing. Keep. <gasps> oh. Wait, was she getting upset that she dropped a handcuff? Whoa. Well, it isn't kosher, but I don't care about that. It's just that it's a bit harder to get. More stores don't sell it. Okay. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's going to jump out of my neck. We're going to get to Funky Town. Why don't we get the hell out? What's that? Miller. Can I put that on? I want to put this shirt on. That was an odd thing to focus on. What's the importance of a shirt? So I order food once every week, every what the hell Saturday. Do these dickheads want with us? Same. They want to ransom you. I feel like that's fairly oh, obvious at this point. Oh shit! Oh, stop making me jump with loud noises, game. I am of a weak. I am. I am. I'm just a wee babby. 
Orson, il y a une porte ici. Ok, all of you, into the room. Oh, they just magically have a key, hey, do they? It's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> I do love myself some Domino's pizza. Now I want pizza. Thanks. What the hell is this fucking place? Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Greek style pizza? That sounds good. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. It's dangerous here. Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. See, tetanus shot. They already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay. What exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. Well, typically a distributor cap is designed to distribute voltage from the coil to the correct rotor, which in turn, it's an essential part of the engine. We're not taking the Duke of Milan anywhere without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. What happened here? Oh my god, a newspaper. Lost. Oh wait, I'm, I'm trying to read it off the paper and it says it on the right hand side. American overseas gangland gang landing of 1947. So, Archaeologists really missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the. Extra time, 3:50 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering, I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. Oh my God! Event. This 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 room was eventful. Hey, look what I found over here. Why are you whispering? The doors are made out of metal. That is creepy. There is something about abandoned glasses that is extremely creepy. I'm definitely, like, that trope of, like, just an entire body disappearing and leaving nothing but clothes. All right, boss man. That's weird. What's it's uncanny. Hey, keep your eyes peeled for another, uh, opportunity. You feel me? What do you think this should Come take a look. Hi, hey, baby doll. I miss you. Uh, why am I reading it like Elvis? I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys. Alex, Had a few beers, I'm but don't worry. Scared. I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? He's not sleeping with prostitutes, everybody. Let's all pat this man on the back for not sleeping with a prostitute. Um, how's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone i know you can take care of yourself i get i i get the historical significance of that and i'm sure to the in this situation world war ii it would have been very common that was meant to be it for legal reasons i need to identify that as a joke 
Um, how's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. I wonder why this was ripped off. Oh my god, it's a dog! Somebody probably crafted it into a shiv. Je vais aller explorer la salle des machines. Danny, tu fouilles les soutes. Les soutes? T'es sérieux? T'as vu l'endroit? Ça tombe en ruine, Nolson. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que. Fais ce que je te dis. Do as I say. Va te faire foutre. Fuck you. Quoi? Qu'est-ce que t'as dit? Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers? On est en prison? Charmant. On sera bientôt riche. We'll be rich soon if you keep your mouth shut and do as I say. I'm not gonna read the subtitles, it's friend French. Je sais pas, cet, cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce radio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la tous les deux. I'm about on the subject of Easter eggs, I'm about 95% sure that one of the future games is set in Iraq, so I'm assuming that that paper has some relevance because of the lost archaeological dig. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. If we can bust it open, freedom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vet like this would go. Wherever it leads, <laughs> it can't be worse than here. You want me to just smash through this wall? Oh, yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. They would hear it. This is going to be loud. Your butt. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Why do they keep they keep sending Conrad into these shitty get beaten up suggestions? Barricade sounds like a good idea. Uh. Let's just hope that the door folds inwards. Hey, hey. That door does not look like it opens in it. He got beat up already, no harm done if they beat him more. I don't think that's how beatings work. I think the more you get beat up, the chances, more chances you'll die. How would he not see that hole? In what world does he not see that hole? In what world does he not see that hole? Stop! What the fuck? In what world did he not see that hole? safe now? No, you're on a ghost ship in the middle of the sea, being chased with people with a gun. Look at that. But there are boobs. I love with the demo place. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. I think it's probably very dark there, but they turned the brightness up for this. Well, yeah. They did say it was pitch black in the room, right? True. I take it back. I take everything back. Junior, not blind as a bat. What? There was a. I 
just want to know where the hell they all went. There was a creepy pinup woman in the were. hallway. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? There was a creepy pinup. That was one of the ladies with you. No, there was a woman wearing a pin. There was a woman wearing a sa pin-up sailor suit in the corridor. I did not imagine that. Maybe I imagined that, but I don't think I imagined that. Dear Eel Isles, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real soon and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land and there's no escape from it. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal them to read and I don't like them reading our letters. I know. Oh wait, no. I should have turned it. There was probably stuff on the there's probably stuff on the other side of it. Yeah, there we go. I know it really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are far too slick now the war is over. I bet they'll edit this bit out, but it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go home. I gotta go for now, funny. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon, Robert. Spooky. Again, if if you were writing a letter and there was a noise outside, would you go, wait, I have to stop writing now. There's some noise outside. As a man that has never written a handwritten letter, please answer in the comments because I don't know. You're all young though, right? You all, you're all young. I bet that nobody here actually realizes the postal service exists outside of Amazon deliveries. You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then. This place is fucking massive. Big boat. Big, thick boat. Thicker than a snicker boat. Okay. Well, would you look at that? It's one of those books I've been hearing so much things about. Wow. Oh, never mind. I take back my sarcasm. Four minutes till an ad. I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment Ooh, sorry, had. All right, going to go to sleep. Thank you for hanging out, Ellerox. I appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon. I discovered gross of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned out and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the. What's a what's a what's a tin whisker? I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting out and, I, and should slow down the growth. What's a tin whisker? Anybody? I need to yawn. I'm sorry. I've sent myself off. That's very, that's very bad. That's bad. Oh my god. It's a thing. There's something on the table, your penis. That is a rat skull. Rat skull? Rat skull. Very well-preserved rat skull. Rat skull. 
rat skull. Two minutes till an ad skull. The skipper has KO's the uh, the skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet this ship is. There was a fight between those dumb schmucks Wilson and Anderson right after we sailed, but Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a fellow who had helped load up the ship. He told me that they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. B, he said there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holds just right, real precise, not the treatment you'd get if you were any old grunt. It's got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? Booze was a bum loss, Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney, it was like ditch water. Perez said that they made some hooch from some supplies they lifted, meeting up later down on six to check it out. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can help me get in to take a look. It's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Are we gonna? Is it gonna be revealed that somebody on board released these things? This thing, like a bug creature. It was heavily implied. It was a bug creature. It had like four arms and made like a noise. Did that come through my mic. I don't think that's coming through my mic. I'm ticking. Or clicking. Okay, so I'm not even entirely sure who that was. Which, I think that was Conrad getting his head smashed in. Avoid getting head smashed in. Noted, game. Thank you very much. Is it a shark? Turn your torch off. Why is your torch still on? Yep. There's someone down there already. Shh. Everyone quiet. Why is his torch still on? Well, that was the slowest hide that I've ever seen in story or video game. In like, ever, ever basically. To build the suspense. Give me your cap from the Duke. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Are you gonna smash that distributor cap with a hammer? Anybody else thought I felt like he was gonna swing gonna at it for it. a second? We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. Doesn't know the state of the floor, doesn't know the state of the metal that the floor's made out of, barefoot. Yo, Brad, come on, we gotta fit this through, man. Oh my god, will you wait? Oh god, he wasn't breaking Brad's face, was he? Holy crap. Hope that they actually hear him. I just hid without telling anybody, but the noise.
I want Fliss to live. I'm going to be sad if Fliss dies. Come here! God damn it, they're taking Fliss! Shut the fuck up, man! Come on, Brad. Kick his ass. Where are the others? He's got the gun. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Kick his ass. Hey, no, not yet. All right, I see you. Come on, step out. Stand over there with her. We're gonna follow them. Don't let them out of your sight. Did I make a boo boo? What are we doing? I thought we were following them. We gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. I am gonna take the opportunity to call that a cliffhanger. We'll play some more. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay, we're gonna leave it. Fliss is on the run. Uh, no, Fliss is not on the run. Brad and Fliss have been taken. Stuff is happening. Game is really intriguing. I really enjoyed that. That was really interesting. Um, only aspect of a ghost we've seen so far is the prologue and uh, what I think was a creepy sailor woman. I might have imagined it. I. Hmm, maybe. But as always, chat, I invite you to sit back, relax, drop your shoulders and take a minute with me. Um, I do the words at the end of these streams. I think everybody is used to it by now. So let's get started. I want you to know that I'm glad you exist. I say it every time I stream and it never stops meaning as much as it does to me. There's been lots of chatter back and forth in stream today um, and it always makes the process that much just nicer. Like, I could totally stream to nobody, but at the same time, having the chat engagement back and forth and just talking, it's good. It makes me happy. Um, and, like, it's it's just a thing that I do. It's all community-driven. Ryan, thanks for the stream. Thank you for coming to the stream, Ryan. Um, I'm proud of you, chat. I want you to know you're halfway through the weekend. It's 10 p.m. on a Saturday in the UK right now. Um... Sunday's tomorrow, then it's Monday. I, I want you to know that I see you. I respect everything you've achieved, big or small. And I want you to know that random, strange, bearded man on the internet is proud of you for just doing doing the thing and the stuff, you know? Um, Insure your pets. If you can't afford to insure your pets, I don't judge. But if you can and aren't, I highly recommend it. Um, One of our cats is in palliative care. And had we not had the proper pet insurance, we would have been utterly scuppered financially so yeah if you have if you can't afford it uh, at least in the uk there is means tested veterinary care and various routes that you can go along those lines but um pet insurance who knew that it would be a, such a big subject for me in 2023 um and thank you for helping me do weird shit on the internet as always it's been it's still good is still good. Let's find somebody to raid. If there is anybody you would like me to raid, chuck their name in chat. Otherwise, I'll see who is live off my list. Somebody is playing a game called You Suck at Parking. Tell you what, I'll send you over to Curiously Cuddly Cryptid, um, one half of my collab team. Please drop them a follow if you are not already following. Send them a raid emote if you're not already subscribed. No. Send them a raid emote if you're subscribed. Send them a raid message if you're not subscribed. And just follow if you think they're cool. Because I think they're cool. Uh, Curiously 
Hardly Cryptid, and I will see you tomorrow for more Lies of P. Um, watch for the notification. I might go live slightly earlier than usual to play something. Don't know what, but my weekends are reasonably free. So, yeah. Um, enjoy the rest of your night, guys. I'll speak to you soon.